Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys so much for watching my last MRCP video. I am glad that many of you guys found it useful. I had this idea for this video for a long time. I know that when I was preparing for the MRCP, I wanted to know why so many people failed the first attempt. I think the passing rate for the part one and two is about 50 to 60% and the pace is 40%. So if you think about it, quite a lot of doctors do fail the exam. Here are some of the reasons why I think people fail the exam. The first reason, not having enough time to prepare. The MRCP is a challenging exam. You have to give it enough credit and respect the exam for what it is. I know most people do the MRCP while working, but you must allocate enough time to revise for the exam. If you find it very overwhelming and you don't think you are prepared, postpone the exam to a later date. Only sit for the exam when you feel ready. The next reason, turning up to the venue late. Trust me, this has happened so many times. The examiners have a strict 30 minute policy. So if you turn up to the venue after that, you will not be able to sit for the exam. Loads of things can go wrong on that day. Traffic jams, road closures, snow, train delays, anything can happen that will disrupt your travel. I sat for my exam in Birmingham, which was about two hours away from me. I was living in Nottingham at that time. There was loads of traffic on that day because of the weather or something. So it took me about three hours to get there in the end. But then I had to find parking and all that jazz. I was so scared I was going to be late. I did make it on time, but it was so stressful. Basically, getting to the exam venue on time is an unnecessary worry. So if you need to travel far, try and get to the venue a day ahead. Most of the exams are in hotels anyway. I know my exam was at the Hilton in Birmingham and it is quite common for candidates to stay at the exam venue for the two days. As I said, traveling to the exam venue for both days can be stressful and you are already stressed for the exam. So staying somewhere close to the exam venue will definitely make a difference. It will be one less thing to worry about. The same applies to the PACES exam as well. The third reason not finishing the question bank. I get so many questions about what question banks to use for the part one and two. I know that there are so many out there. Some are cheaper than others. Honestly, it doesn't matter what question bank you go with. Although I must say past test is my favorite. It is worth the extra money. But whichever question bank you go with, try and finish all the questions. Some people only manage to complete 50% of the question bank. And trust me, that is not enough. You won't be equipped with enough knowledge to pass. So try your best to do as many questions as you can. And if you want to be even more prepared, do the question bank twice and do the mock exams. That will definitely help you to consolidate your knowledge. The next reason, answering technique. The MRCP part one and two are both SBA, single best answer question. There is definitely a way and a technique to answering SBA. People fail the exam because they don't get the technique. My only advice is to practice, practice, practice. Luckily, all my exams in medical school was SBAs, so I was somewhat used to it. But if you're not familiar with SBAs, just keep doing the question banks. Eventually, you will learn the technique. You will know how most of the questions are worded and how to answer them correctly. This brings me to the fifth reason, second guessing your answers. One of my lecturers in medical school actually told me this advice. Once you have made a decision on SBAs, don't go back and don't second guess. Your first instinct or guess is normally the right one. So once you have picked an answer, leave it and move on to the next question. That is all for my video today. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any suggestion on future MRCP video, please leave it in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.